Today, I was driving under the influence. It wasn't an automobile and it wasn't alcohol. It's my physical vessel and it's the influence of people I follow. So the word influence is fluent, ethereal energy flowing through you. Do you know what spirits are you allowing to flow through your physical vessel? So we often follow people that we want to be and inspire us. What we want to be careful of is allowing those thoughts to affect our emotions in that we think that's how we feel, but in reality, we're allowing the intention of another spirit to come through us. That is the influencer virus. So I'm going to share with you a doodle about our energy body and how our chakras work and how we can allow our influence to truly come from our higher self. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go. Okay, so as a quick overview before we go into the details of this doodle, what are we? We are a vibrational being. So this body that I drew, the physical body, is made up of different systems, different organs, different muscles, different fluids, tissues. Within those are cells, within those are atoms within those are nothingness but energy. So we are made of energy. And these energy um, forms are flowing in a geometrical pattern. So it's actually called a torus. And it looks like the core of the apple. So we're the core, we're the center of the apple, and the flow of the energy is the torus. So all of our different energy forms are magnetically linked and connected to each other based on their vibration. So these energy forms, they're vibrating, right? They're moving, constant flow. Everything's constantly moving. And they gather in areas where they are vibing together. So a lower vibration, all the lower vibrations are in one area and all of a certain higher vibration is in another area. So these are different levels, like a thermometer, different levels of vibration. So there are seven main levels of vibrations in your body aligned to your spine. And that's what we call the chakras. And just as a um, quick guide, we're not gonna really dive too deep into the chakra system. This is the base chakra, the root chakra, which is for your safety and security. That's where you um, work on grounding techniques. Your next chakra is your sacral chakra. Actually, here's a chakra doll I could use. So you've got your root chakra. You've got your sacral chakra, which is for creativity creativity and sexuality. Um, this is your solar plexus chakra, your um, center of emotions. This is your heart chakra, which is your center of love, compassion, forgiveness. This is your throat chakra, which is for your truth and um, communication. 
This is the brow chakra, also referred to as the third eye chakra, and this is for your intuition and imagination. And this here is your crown chakra, which is your connection to all. This is cosmic consciousness. This is your connection to up here, where this is your connection to Earth, Mother Earth. We ground to Mother Earth using the root chakra. We connect to our higher self using our crown chakra. So back to our little drawing here. The different energy centers, they're vortexes. They are spinning vortexes of energy. So it's constantly moving. It's constantly flowing. And the nature of the flow is upwards and out. So this side of your body actually has a, uh, in our physical body, there is a vein that comes up from the base of our foot all the way up our leg. And from our other side, I believe it's called um, Ida and Pingala, the two nerves that intersect here at the nape of our neck right here. And that's where they cross over, and which is why they say that the left side of your brain controls the right side of your body. And the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body because those nerves crisscross through every energy center, every chakra. They meet at each chakra and they um, intersect at the throat chakra, which is, uh, and it comes out through the crown chakra. Now, these different energy centers have different vibrations and they control different energies. So the root chakra, for example, holds on to certain emotions such as um, fear, whereas the heart chakra may hold on to emotions such as sadness. So when there are emotions of these types, let's see this here, that's when we say these chakras are blocked and they are not flowing. We are not flowing with our energy. Sometimes we just feel off balance. We may not know exactly what we feel. We just know that something is off. This is why. So there is some gunk, some waste, some garbage that needs to be cleared. Now we're not going to go into the details of the clearing. There's a lot of practices for energy clearings. There's um, grounding techniques. There's meditation. You can also see an energy worker for some Reiki or pranic healing. And um, there's also a lot of self shielding techniques that we'll go over in another video. So shielding your energy and clearing your energy why do we do that? Well, besides not wanting to carry waste and unnecessary emotions, this is where our crown is. The top of our head is the connection to our higher self. And when this is blocked and we're not flowing, this cannot receive inspiration. So our higher self, this is our spirit, when we become inspired, it comes in through our crown, which allows, which allows us to visualize it when our third eye is clear. We can see it in our mind. We can begin speaking about it because our throat chakra is clear. We speak about it so much that our, that our soul, our spirit gets buy-in on this inspired idea that our heart now believes in it and it feels this idea, this inspiration that has come through. Your solar plexus allows you to take action and have the will willpower to take uh, steps towards whatever it is you are inspired to do. Your sacral chakra being cleared gives you the creativity to be able to manifest what it is you're inspired to do. And your root chakra being cleared and grounded allows you to ground that thought, that energy that you are able to process through your chakras because you are inspired through your crown down and make it materialize into this reality. So when we clear our chakras, we are able to receive inspiration and therefore we can manifest it. That is why we want to keep our chakras clear. So 
another thing I want to point out is the vibration here, the center where it's got the heart. So this vibration is the what emits into our reality. That is what our reality hears. So the universe is listening, right? It's got ears. What am I supposed to give you? What is your reality like? It doesn't hear your thoughts. It hears the vibration of your heart. So when you speak something, fake it till you make it. You're lying to yourself enough so that your heart believes it and emits that vibration so that the universe hears it and gives it back to you. So remain grounded so that your energy may flow, keeping yourself clear so that you can receive spirit, get inspired, and have the flow clear so that you are able to manifest it here. So I know we kind of went over a lot of different things, the energy centers, um, inspiration, this chakra doll that you got to meet. If you have any questions on what we just went over, let me know. And let me bring it back to the original intention of this video, which is about um, driving under the influencer. So the reason why we keep our energy clear is so that we are receiving influence from our higher self, from our spirit, and not from someone else's spirit. So thank you for tuning in and have a blessed rest of your day.